Hi, I'm Adam. Let's learn some important commands and tools that will be useful to you. Hey, this idea sounds good. Z enter. Create a window. Boundary. Click OK. Pick internal point. We created a closed polyline. We can measure area using this polyline. Area. Select the object option. Click the boundary polyline. You can see the area from the command bar. You can also use this boundary to create an inner polyline for plastering. Offset. To enter. Click the boundary. Click inside the boundary. Delete outer polyline. Zoom. Create a window. Array. Select object. Enter. Rectangular. Change row count. Change column count. Between columns. 30. Change column count. Press Enter. Explode. Delete. Peak out. Select objects. Enter. We will sort the numbers according to the x axis. Starting from 1, it will increase by 1. Enter. Overwrite. Wow, I must use this. Hey, what is this? Pet it. Select the polyline. Close. Press Enter. Select the polyline. Close. Hey, or does that mean turn on notifications? Why not? Hey, why did you mess up your room? Align. Select object to align. Enter. First source point. First destination point. Second source point. Second destination point. Enter. Click no. Keep your room tidy like this from now on. My god. King of pop. Let's learn to rotate another object using the angle of one object. Rotate. Click the rectangle. Enter. Base point. Reference. Specify first point. Specify second point. Points. Specify first point. Specify second point. By the way, how many degrees did Michael Jackson lean? Polyline. Angular dimension. Select first line. Select second line. Wow. He's a legend. We will pass the properties of this object to this object. Match properties. Select source object. 
Select destination objects. I think I will use this the most. Match properties. Select source object. Select destination objects. Match layer. Select the objects whose layer you will change. Enter. Select object on destination layer. Select the objects of the layer that you want to change. Match layer. Select object on destination layer. That's not bad either. Let's learn how to make an object's layer the current layer. Now, current layer is green. Line. The new lines we draw are created in the green layer. Make current. Click the door. Now the current layer is the orange. Line. Make current. Click the green line. Let's learn how to delete duplicate objects. When you click on a line it asks which one you want to choose. Hey wait a minute. I don't have a selection menu. If you don't have the selection menu, try these settings. Customization Enable Selection Cycling Here click the Selection Cycling icon. Overkill. Select objects. Enter. Click OK. Now there is only one of each object. Now let's learn how we can change the size of all texts at once with. First select all texts. Double click 1. Text height 7. Spacebar should be the longest key on the keyboard. Select the object. Click a vertex. Drag a little. Now press the spacebar. Moving. Press the spacebar. Rotating. Press the spacebar. Scaling. Press the spacebar. Mirroring. I like this feature. Now finally let's learn to select objects by layers. Quick select. Properties, Layer Value Green Layer Click OK Move This is exactly what I was looking for. Would you do this again? Quick Select Properties, Layer Value Orange Layer Click OK Move Double click the mouse wheel Thanks for watching Hey, one minute You didn't say subscribe We are not saying that here We already have enough subscribers Okay. Okay I'm silent. See you in the next tutorial.